Yep. Thank y'all for tuning in again to the Voice Unheard podcast. And I'm your host, Dominic Evans, as always. Um, I just want to say thank y'all for tuning in week after week. This is episode 11. Uh, let me set the vibe. It's raining outside. I feel like every time I record, it's raining. Um, I'm feeling good. Went to the gym this morning. Got my water, got my breakfast. Um, we do have some things I want to discuss in this podcast today that was like really hitting home. Um, I watched over the weekend. And before we jump into it, I want to say I did release a song on all streaming platforms. So you could just search Dominic Evans. <clears throat> and that song is called The Gift. I did it. I released it like I said I would. <clears throat> so that's out. The Gift by Dominic Evans. And more music is on the way. But let's jump into this podcast. And I'm relaxing right now as I'm talking. Like my shoulders just dropped. Just took a deep breath of fresh air. And I want to tell you to just let shit be. Let it be. Um, So much power in these three words, let it be. Um, I was watching this lady on YouTube, an elderly white woman, and she was on her deathbed. And it was a poem that she read. And she was just saying, let them be. Basically, people want to mistreat you. If, let it be. If people want to misunderstand you, let it be. If people want to walk out of your life, let it be. <clears throat> you feel underappreciated at work, let it be. Just in general, anything, something you can't control, let it be. And it's, oh man, I'm getting chills from it again. It's like almost make me want to tear up. You got to let it be and know that you can only do but so much. Everybody's going to do what's in the best interest of them. So you got to do what's in the best interest of you. And you got to start letting shit be. Um, Last week, I had a real... <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. So I'm, I, I have a... So though I do music and I went to school for engineering, I have a marketing degree as well. So I do Google ads and all this type of marketing. And last week, I let work get to me a little bit. And this week, I woke up and said, I'm going to let it be. And the reason why I say that is because we spend so much time helping somebody else's dream. We spend our waking hours helping somebody else's life progress that don't give a damn about you. And I'm speaking about work today a little bit. And they don't show you appreciation too much. You are pulling your work plus more. Or you are in a relationship, you pulling your end and more. You're in a friendship, you pulling your end and more. But last week was one of those weeks where I was just like, Yo, I don't stress much, and I'm not going to start now. And this week, my thing was, and it's crazy how the lady came across my YouTube in perfect timing. And when she said, you feel underappreciated, 
let it be. I get sick and tired of building somebody else's dream. And what irks me the most, and maybe you can relate, we spend most of our time at work helping somebody else's dream. And they may, your CEO may be a millionaire, rich, doing what he loves to do. Um, I won't even get too personal, but I know someone that works at a job and their CEO is always traveling. And they can't even get enough time off or not, not that they can't get enough time off, but the CEO puts the work on them. He's going, so he's gone like two weeks at a time on just on vacation. And they say, let it be, but that's what we really have to do. Like sometimes you just got to walk away from shit. Sometimes you got to accept the reality. Another thing that I'm learning to let it be, and I appreciate y'all for just being the listening ear because you probably feel the same way. I'm over the work harder culture. And let me tell you why. As a black man, I didn't inherit shit. I can't say I got millions of dollars from my grandparents. We didn't get reparations. Our ancestors didn't pass us down businesses. And I know white people say they work hard for their shit. No, not most of you. No, just be honest. Most of you inherit that. And if you didn't directly inherit that, your parents or your grandparents inherit that. My people, my black people, they tell us to work harder. And we can work very, very, very hard and be just as good or even greater. And I said this in the last podcast, how a mediocre white person can come in and they have the connection and they get that position over you. So that work harder shit is bullshit. And it's out the window. That's another thing I'm learning to, to let be. Hmm. I'm just learning to let it all go. And as I let it go, it eases me up a little bit. Because one thing I do know is that the more I tried to hold on to shit and I didn't let it be. I noticed I was sacrificing my spiritual side of things, my spirituality. And I'm not a religious person. I don't believe in Jesus or I don't believe in any religion. I do believe in God, but the universe and creation and everything like that, but I'm more spiritual. Like, energy, you know. But the more I didn't let things be, and the more I tried to fight through shit, the more I lost touch with my spiritual side. So I'm learning to let shit be. And I don't know what that let shit be look like, whether it's fuck people, fuck them, fuck these jobs. Because when you die, nobody's going to talk about the job you spent your whole life working at. Nobody gives a fuck about the job you, you working at. What impression did you leave on people? How did you make people feel? How do people feel about you? Neither should you care, but did you help people? 
Or did you just go with the flow? And if that's what you choose to do in life, then that's cool too. You know why? Because it's your life and you can live it however the fuck you want to. So where I am right now, it's a I'm between letting it be. And not only am I letting it be, but not moving. When I feel uncomfortable, when I feel uneasy, or when I feel scared, or when I feel anxious, whatever it is, don't move at all and just feel it. We try to run from these things and I don't know what it is. Like, we have so many distractions around us, like I say all the time. Feel it. Don't. Feel it. Don't move at all. Stay still. Sit in silence. Put the phone down. Thoughts. Let them run. So I'm learning to sit still. If I feel a way, I don't try to avoid it no more. I just take my deep breaths, inhale, exhale, feel it. And it's it's a part of life, y'all. You know what I mean, I know it's it's in us to try to avoid everything, and I feel like the world we in it. It makes us that way. Like, yo, avoid, avoid, avoidance. You don't want to deal with somebody, avoid them. You don't want to deal with a situation. How you feeling? Avoid it. But this is like what I've been dealing with lately. So I don't care what you going through or how you feel. You got to let let it be. But I want to get back to to these jobs and the government and all this bullshit. We care so much about who we voting for and knowing that shit like it like inflation so many inflations, inflation, shrinkflation, hyperinflation is a lot. What the fuck is all of this? And we think we going to vote and make it different. And this is why I let it be and this is why I don't complain about that cuz I know I'm not going to vote Certain things that I choose not to give a fuck about. And some people may say it's ignorant. Cool. You can stop the podcast right here. But you tell me. Who has really served you lately? And when I say you. I'm talking about. My black people. We've got nothing out of any deal. More suffering, yeah. That's about it. Cop killings. So I don't give a fuck about the election. I don't give a fuck who won. What I care about is how can I help other people? How can I help my family? How can I make myself feel better? How can I feel more at peace? One thing I hate is people praising celebrities. Your friend has a business. I mentioned this before. Your friend has a business. Your friend is doing something very productive with his life or her life. You don't support shit that person is doing. But these celebrities, 
You are all in on it. So I think it's in your best interest if you are that friend that don't get support from your friends to let it be. And fuck them people. Just got to learn to release. Let go. Let it go. Let it go. My brother, my sister, let it go. And then in a world of social media, it only gets worse. I've always been on the brink of ready to leave the country, and this is why. But when you realize the whole world is is kind of affected by the same symptom of what I'm talking about, it doesn't really matter. And it's not that I give up hope or anything. It's just that you learn to accept it. You learn to let it be. And you can only do what you and you can only do what you can do at the end of the day. So before we get out of here, when you learn to let shit be like I'm learning, like this week I said, fuck work. Not literally fuck work, but I'm on my own time. I'm not breaking my back to try to satisfy people that overlook you or whatever it might be. But when we learn to let it go, you just feel more at ease. The pressure on your chest just lifts up. Pressure on your shoulders just lifts up. Your your shoulders become more relaxed. You're able to breathe deeper. When you go to sleep, you can actually have a peaceful sleep. And another thing before... Because I was meaning to mention this. When you let things go, when you let it go, make sure you transition that energy into yourself. So let's say if you you learn to let a relationship go, or you learn to let a friendship go, or you learn to let a job go, or you learn to say fuck work or fuck whatever it is, put that focus into something positive. Mine is music, of course, now. Audio engineer. So I'm taking my time and I'm actually doing that. This podcast, I want to work on making things better. How can I promote my music? How can I p- promote the podcast a little better? Just for example, can I do planning better as far as on the podcast? Can I write better songs? Can I do some type of trick? in my audio engineering phase where I can make a song sound better. So when you let in something go, learn to put it into something more positive and, and most likely in yourself and not something else. <sighs> oh, breath of fresh air. So as always, I thank y'all for tuning in. I love y'all. And if you have any thoughts, ideas, or opinions, whatever it is, feel free to text the show. The link is in the description. And thank y'all for listening, as always. Uh, I just said that, but I just wanted to reiterate it. So until next time, I love y'all. I'm out.